to being so busy that our days are filled with to-do lists, constant electronic stimulation and fast-paced tempos to get things done. The extent of our outside time is perhaps walking to and from the car or perhaps in the aisles of the supermarket. We've lost our connection with nature. In fact, we've totally forgotten how beautiful our world is and how much it has to offer. With me in studio today is Mashuda Patel, a mom of two, attorney, acting commissioner at CCMA and the founder of Hiking with a Purpose. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Jazakallah so much for being with us. Jazakallah as well. Um, Sumeya Khan, she's a lecturer and a teacher. Thank you so much for joining us. Jazakallah for inviting us. Um, just for the viewers, this is a sibling team. So whoever says that five fingers are not the same, <laughs> rethink that. Okay, um, Mashuda, why did you want to help um, females get reconnected? Did something, was it a, a, something that happened in your life or did you just see us as sitting with ourselves and just typing away? No, actually not. Um, unfortunately, the thing is, we live, in a, we live in a world where we are moms, we are working women, but mm -hmm. we don't get out in nature. Yes. Um, and unfortunately, we don't do it with our families. Um, mm -hmm. So the idea was to assist and motivate and inspire women mm -hmm. of all ages. Yeah. So from your 60-year-old golden girls to your um, little five-year-olds, mm -hmm. um, and we've got all of them coming along on these hikes okay. um, to just get out into nature. Definitely, that sounds awesome. Um, so obviously you and your sister, you, you were the founder, but she has, so I'm going to just bounce off the two of you That's just fine. to get to give the viewers more information. Um, it was um, actually, it was um, a, just a thought initially. How did you get to see to fruition? Do you want to answer that or Sumaya? Okay, um, Zakra, I in 2017, um, around August, mm -hmm. um, climbed Kilimanjaro. Wow. So we did it with a group of about uh, 30 of us. Okay. Um, from the UK and South Africa with Muslim hands. All right. And um, the idea was um, specifically born on that mountain. There is um, so many guides, so many porters, as well as the volunteers that are continually assisting us to summit. Okay. And um, one of the things that I had indicated was, when I come back, I want to live my life with a purpose. Uh, and the purpose behind it was to say, let us try and motivate these ladies, mm -hmm. first of all, and secondly also, try and um, assist people that are less fortunate. Because um, what we did was we had, um, we joined Muslim Hands to uh, raise funds for the children of Southern Africa. Okay. And um, so the idea was to say, let's try and see if we can also assist um, somebody in the community. Now specifically, I'm from Rastenburg, so it's right. the community there. All right. And, um, and then we, we said, let's see if we can assist the less fortunate. Uh, and that is how um, this, this has come about. Brilliant, that's, that's so, so you, you're keeping fit, you're going down the right direction and in the interim you're helping the less fortunate, yes. absolutely great plan. Um, what, what is the trajectory of your vision? Your, what, we're not going to go to long term, let's stick with short term goals. Sumaya, what is your short term goals? Um, I think our short term goals is like Mishra just mentioned, we, we look at inspiring the world to actually come out there, enjoy nature with us um, and obviously admire what God has given us. Mm -hmm. you know? And I think we, like we, we don't have that time to stop and stay. Um, and that's basically our, our vision. We want, to, we want to bring these women out there so that they can have their time away from their busy lives as well. Okay, so is that just reconnecting? You want to uh, encourage them to reconnect with nature or is there a fitness 
aspect behind the whole thing. I, I guess there is a bit of a uh, fitness aspect for well, all the ladies as well. They mm -hmm. also don't have um, that time. They're also busy in their lives, so they tend to not even walk. Yes. That circulation is quite important. Yes. And I think a lot of us don't have that um, exposure to vitamin D, so, which is also quite important. Sunlight, yes. Um, so sunlight as well, yeah. Um, and then, yes, I think our, uh, the last vision that we actually have is that we are assisting an, an individual within our environment, in our, in our community um, and see the benefits of that. Which is so remarkable. Um, Mashida, what are the formalities um, regarding joining your, your team? Are there any formalities? Is it a long drawn out procedure that women are just going to ignore and not take it into consideration? or? Okay, so we don't actually have a formality or any requirement. All right. Um, I think the only requirement is you need to be a woman. <laughs> um, okay. Not to say we stop the men, right? Um, but um, I have a lot of ladies, specifically in the Luxembourg area, that are in Perda. Right. And unfortunately, our ladies in Perda, our ladies in hijab, don't get out. Okay. Um, so I think we need to look at that as well. All right. Um, so it's it's the requirement is you're a lady. Uh, whether you're five years old, as I said, um, any age, um, okay. you're allowed to come along. Mm -hmm. um, we have a group, I have a group in Luxembourg, um, Sumaya has a group in Pretoria, mm -hmm. and you can contact one of us, All and right. um, and you can join any hike that we have. Okay, perfect. Um, Sumaya, this is, a, this is an interesting one. Many viewers haven't hiked before. Like I said in, to, in the introduction, the extent of their walking, or perhaps it's from one side of the mall to another. And if you're at Mendland, then I suppose you'll hire <laughs> Uber to take you. But um, is there a required fitness level, health level, um, diet? dietary requirements if you want to start hiking okay so well we we, we try not to force the woman in terms of fitness level all right um because they usually inquire from us what exactly the the difficulty level of the hike is okay uh, we do accommodate for our our stronger ability level ladies okay um and we also explain to them how long the hike is going to take what is the elevation of the hike um, and then we we put it forth to them to say, would your body be able to take that? Okay. Um, and then obviously we yeah we determine what their fitness level is looking at at the moment mm -hmm. and um, whether they would manage it um, to come along with us. Um, so I, I would say our hikes um, range between the easy and the difficult, and depending on your body strength, you can accommodate. You choose, yeah. Okay. Okay. Nadia Latif, registered physiotherapist, specializing in sports injuries, rehabilitation, orthopedics, musculoskeletal aches and pains, introducing shock wave therapy, also practicing hajama wet and dry cupping, advanced masters in life coaching as well as holistic health, households done in lodium, erasmia and surrounding areas, practicing at Bondi Park corner of Vieira and Willem Botha Avenue. Okay, this is a, this is a nice question, and I, it's it's at the top of my mind. Um, obviously, now you you're going out, and it's ladies only. The element of competition has to come in at some time or the other. Tell me about it regarding the the branded sneakers, the garb, the caps, the sunglasses. Tell me about it, Mashira. Um, Zagra, on on my side, and that's in Rustenburg. Okay. I don't have that issue. All um, right. Our ladies are, as I said. Um, they are willing to wear anything, okay. any, any type of clothes. Mm -hmm. um, there's no branded, there's actually no brands. The only thing I have is I have our young girls um, continually taking the selfies. So you have to continually <laughs> advise them, especially when we, we're doing high summits. Um, in right. a sense. So we, we did a summit last uh, last month and it was the highest summit in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. And I had a lot of them sort of on the edge of the mountain. And you're telling please, you know, I mean, selfies yes. on the edge of a mountain is, it's you know, continually dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't have that. <laughs> okay, so Maya, your turn. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm really not going to agree with Mishina <laughs> on that point. Um, I think oh, forming this group within the Lodium Pretoria area, um, we are facing challenges with competition quite mm -hmm. a bit. Um, mm -hmm. It is about the brand sneakers, the brand caps, and you know. Um, and now we also reached a point where there's a lot of um, of the ladies who would actually like the branded T-shirts of ours yes. as well. Um, but I, I think you know, I, I always mention to the ladies that if we keep it simple, we're still going to benefit from yes. it. You know. Um, um, but we also now reached a 
point where um, ladies are in competition with who's more advanced than the other ones in terms of fitness. Okay. So we continually, when we start off the hike, we have a briefing for all the ladies to mention to them, you know, you're not allowed to go ahead of the helpers or you're not ahead, allowed to go ahead of me as, the, right. as the leader of the group. Um, but we do find those ladies. Um, I've ran marathons before, so that means I can go ahead of you. Mm -hmm. um, so in terms of competition, that sense also, we, we, we do struggle a bit, but like I said, we have to mention that to them, that at the end of the day, we need to see the benefits. Um, no, absolutely. absolutely. And that's a valid point. I mean, besides the brands or that, or, or those kind of stuff, you're doing something to empower yourself, obviously. Yes, yes, so yes. Um, you need to, you know, and encourage I think, them. And I think they also notice it because um, some of them come with those extreme brands and they yes. realize how dirty it gets. Yes. And, you know, a hike is full of mud yes, and dirt. Absolutely. Um, and then that's, I think, they so realize you're that. So you're losing the focus in yeah, that, yeah. that aspect. Um, Mashira, a very important question. One of the greatest fears and um, as a South African citizen is crime and safety. How do you pacify? Obviously, you're taking women out there. How do you pacify? How do you go around this? Um, regarding safety and precautions for women alone. Okay, <clears throat> particularly the hikes that we do is in private farms. Okay. So um, we have that safety aspect in All already. Right. Uh, we go in sometimes with at least about 50 ladies. All right. Um, so you're not going to actually come across criminals, mm -hmm. first of all, in a private farm, and All second, right. taking off 50 women. Okay. Um, so we, we have that in place. Um, and uh, you know, usually women are, are then comfortable with actually going to hike uh, in that respect. Um, I've indicated to the ladies itself that we won't hike if we less than five ladies. All right. Um, so I think it, you know it's it's they they, they it's specifically stated sa safety by numbers. Yes. So um, that's that's important for us. Look, I know um, around the Cape area and stuff like that, there is issues um, when you come to Table Mountain mm -hmm. and, and the like. But as I said, because we don't have that issue and we're, we're hiking in a private farm, uh, we don't have issues at all. Okay, Alhamdulillah, that's that's something, I mean, and obviously your, your spouse or your the man in your house won't want to send you if you don't have that under under yes. that. So, so it's a good thing that you, you know, you've taken into consideration all the hurdles as well. Um, so, Sumaya, say a family of five joining a hike, okay? So now I know yours is female only, but a family of five, um, uh, maybe with a mother, father and three kids, at different ages, different physical abilities, different levels of fitness, how would you accommodate them for, for that hike? Okay. So are you able to mediate a hike for a family of five? Um, yes, we, we are able to do that. We actually have um, certain friends that have uh, joined us as helpers or volunteers to assist us on the hike. Okay. Um, so we usually break the, 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 the group into smaller groups mm -hmm. and then we have the helpers to assist at every stage. Okay. Um, currently we had, uh, for the two hikes that we passed, uh, we actually had a cancer patient along with us. Oh wow. Um, and Alhamdulillah, she managed very well. Mm -hmm. She did eight kilometers with okay. us. That's exciting. Um, um, and then we had kids down to eight years old as well. Um, so the helpers do it at the person's pace. Okay, so, yeah. so once again you've, you've taken into consideration all the things that um, needed to be done. Um, I think just to also add on to that stuff now, what we've done is um, we've divided it into levels. So we have okay. a, a fast paced group. All right. So anybody that is um, more able and more fit will mm -hmm. join that group and you give them the, the choice and the decision to make. All right. Then we have a slower paced group Okay. and um, so usually that's your, your beginners and people that just want to enjoy beauty yes, in a sense. the nature. Um, so they would then get divided into that and we split it up by say five to ten minutes mm -hmm. um, and then you know we go off but then we'd have um, for example like in my group they would be like your leader and then you would have at least four assistants in the group and then we've got so the three assistants are somewhere between the ladies and we have a sweeper. Okay. Um, so that's like all the ladies that picks up yes. you know, the ladies yes. as we go yes. along. Uh, and then applies the same in respect of the several at the second group as well. Wow, so this seems very well thought out and very, very well organized. Um, I'm, I'm actually in awe of the work that you've uh, you know, uh, uh, set out to do. Nadia Latif, registered physiotherapist, specializing in sports injuries, rehabilitation, orthopedics, musculoskeletal aches and pains, introducing shock wave therapy, also practicing hajama wet and dry cupping, advanced masters in life coaching as well as holistic health. 
households done in Lodium, Erasmia and surrounding areas, practicing at Bondi Park corner of Vieira and Willem Botha Avenue. Um, last words, final words, Sumaya, to the, to the public. How do you keep women motivated or how do you encourage them to start reconnecting with nature? Um, from my side, I think it's, uh, I, I started hiking with this, um, that it's, it's more about your intention and mm -hmm. about what you want to do in terms of your own body. Okay. Um, so it's not just about conquering the mountain, but also about conquering within yourself. Wow, so, well yeah. said. Mushta, <laughs> final words out to the ladies there. Um, just a, a very famous quote, it says, of all the parts in life, make some of them dirt. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Great. And how would you keep them motivated to, to, to if they join your group, to, to stick with it or for those that haven't hiked, to come and try it? Yes, obviously, um, you know, uh, Zakhna, just on that note, I've got a lady that's got fibromyalgia mm -hmm. and she's in her 60s. Right. And on every hike, mm -hmm. this lady comes along. Wow. Um, and without a doubt, even if she's the last person, she's like, Mishira, I'm going to do this. Mashallah. So if that itself doesn't give an indication to people out there, come and join, I don't know what will. A uh, really great job. Thank you so much for coming on to the show. I'm sure this episode has brought out the little girl in you and you're really deciding to reconnect once again. I end today with one of my favorite quotes. Love hurts, life hurts, but nature heals. Catch us next week on Lodium Today for another great episode. Assalamu alaikum. our episodes on YouTube and subscribe to our profile. Also stay in touch on Facebook, WhatsApp and Instagram and we'll keep you up to speed with topics coming up next week. Don't miss an episode.